Welcome to Machiavellian Psychology, where we delve into the intricate strategies of power and influence. Today, we explore light of the 48 laws of power. Make other people come to you use bait if necessary. This law teaches us the art of attracting people, rather than chasing them, a tactic that can be as subtle as it is powerful. Imagine a king in his court, not moving an inch, yet his subjects come from far and wide to seek his counsel. This is the essence of Lloyd. It's about holding a position of power and letting others come to you. In the modern world, this law is equally relevant. Whether you're a business leader, a politician, or even in social settings, drawing people to you gives you control over the situation. But how do you make others come to you? The answer lies in using the right bait. Bait can be anything that attracts the other person's interest, a promise of gain, a tantalizing opportunity, or even the provision of valuable information. The key is to understand what motivates the other person. What do they desire? What do they fear? By aligning your bait with these motivations, you make it almost irresistible. But beware, this law is not without its risks. Misuse of bait can lead to mistrust or even retaliation. The art is in subtlety and discretion. Great strategists throughout history have used this law to their advantage. They knew that by making others come to them, they could conserve their own energy and resources while forcing their opponents to expend theirs. In business negotiations, in political campaigns, even in personal relationships, Drawing others to you gives you the home field advantage. You set the terms and control the environment. Remember, power is as much about perception as it is about reality. By making others come to you, you enhance your own aura of power and control. Use this law wisely and watch as the world shifts in your favor. Thank you for watching Machiavellian Psychology. For more insights into the laws of power, Subscribe to our channel and join us on this journey of strategic mastery.